The internet, along with social media, have both contributed to a group problem, romanticizing mental illness. This trend does all kinds of harm to those who are suffering from mental illness and society's understanding regarding conditions like schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, depression, etc. Believe it or not, many of those people who have real mental illnesses actually suffer from these types of posts that are circulating on the internet. Romanticizing memes to deal with or describe in an idealized or unrealistic fashion makes something seem better or more appealing than it really is. In other words, taking a situation and making it sound like it isn't bad at all when in reality, it truly is. Romanticizing mental illness is turning the mental illness into something glamorous. An example of it would be, depression is not a sign of weakness, it means you have been strong for too long. Sure, the author of the quote was trying to help out by making the person with the illness feel better, but the reality of things here is that these people forget about the chemistry of depression. It makes the public focus more on the person with the illness instead of the actual illness. They make it seem like the person is heroic and that in the end they have fallen. That is not a way, the way a mental illness should be portrayed. Mental illness is now glamorized by TV, movies, and even the social media. Many well-known characters are portrayed with mental illnesses but the thing here is that they make the characters seem cute, romantic, and even quirky. Many illnesses other than depression are being glamorized too. Bipolar disorder is often viewed as an opportunity to be romantic or cutesy-like. The sad truth about it is that many of these people can't keep any types of relationships. At one minute they think they're okay and the next thing they're not. Yet here we go onto the social media and BOOM! We get all these pictures and posts on our news feeds about inspirational quotes or GIFs of people crying, etc. Schizophrenia. What a subject. As many of us know, schizophrenia is when a person has an abnormal social behavior and in serious cases, the person may hear or see things that aren't. In other words, the person can hallucinate. From my own personal experience, whenever I log on to the famous site of Tumblr, I almost always see images or text posts about this mental illness. People tend to make it look like something cool to have, they think that seeing and hearing things makes you some type of a supernatural being. They find it mystifying. We must stop this nonsense. I can assure you that people with schizophrenia would give anything just to get rid of it. My mother was once told at the doctor's office that at a certain point in her life she would reach that level of schizophrenia. Up until this point I have been blessed that she is alright and at that time she feels fears it herself. About two months ago, I was told in the emergency room that I have anxiety disorder and depersonalization, derealization, which is also known as DPD. I can tell you for sure that whenever I see these posts about glamorizing the illness, I feel very sad and uncomfortable because they make the public want to have these illnesses and disorders so they can feel wanted and such. My point here is that if we want to help people with mental illness, let's think twice before posting things on the media. We need to try to understand the disorder, not glamorize it. Mental illness is not a personality trait. It's something that people do struggle with. So please, before reblogging or posting another black and white GIF of someone talking about how lovely death is to add to a pale blog aesthetic, think about it. It's like handing them a crossbow, showing them how to aim at their heart and saying, but I didn't shoot them, 